Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here on the Whimsy Stamps channel for another card making tutorial. Today I'm doing a product mesh up featuring the Scallop 6 A2 die and 4x11 micro pattern stamp set. Whimsy is hosting an Instagram hop and giveaway this weekend, so please be sure to jump over there and hop along with us if you haven't already done so. There's a $25 Whimsy Stamps gift certificate up for grabs for one lucky commenter. Now I wanna introduce you to these two awesome products, the 4x11 Micro Pattern Stamp Set. It's great for creating backgrounds. It's perfect for the KISS stamping technique. And I'm actually sharing that with you in this video. So I hope you stick around for that. Uh, then we have the Scallop 6 A2 die. It's very versatile. You can use the scallop frames on their own or inlaid in the negative cutout to create a fun shaker card. Just lots of options with that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this because we're making two cards today. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of 80 pound avalanche white cardstock that I'm stamping the plaid micro pattern stamp on. Now I'm using my VersaFine Claire inks and an acrylic block to stamp that plaid pattern. And I have the die laid down there to guide me while stamping. I wanna be sure I'm giving myself enough coverage with each ink color. So when I run this through the die cut machine, each frame won't have overlapping colors. So I stamped the first two colors. I can move the die out of the way and finish stamping. I'm using Fallen Leaves, Warm Breeze, Golden Meadow, Charming Pink, Shady Lane, and Chianti. When using VersaFine Claire inks, I recommend you let them air dry or heat dry them before running them through your die cut machine. The ink will transfer to your die if it's not dry. If that happens, you can clean it up with alcohol, no problem whatsoever. So here are the die cut pieces. While I was over there, I die cut several pieces of scrap white cardstock to stack for dimension and one piece of a 100 pound avalanche white cardstock for the second card. So this is the perfect technique for two for one cards. Now I've taken the centers out of each of the 100 pound avalanche white die cut frames and I'm stamping them using the same VersaFine Claire inks and the polka dot micro pattern stamp. I'm inlaying that polka dot pattern in the plaid pattern for one of our cards. So here I'll show you real quick. We have that polka dot pattern and we're going to inlay it in our plaid frames. I have this stamping done and I'm ready to start assembling the cards in using a 110 pound avalanche white A2 card base. I lay the negative scallop six cut out down on that card base and use it as a template to glue the frames in place. Now for the first card, I'm using the 100 pound avalanche white frames and I'm stacking them with the frames I cut from scrap papers to create dimension. Now once I have all of this glued down, I'm going to gently remove that negative piece and set this aside to dry for a few seconds under an acrylic block. Once it's dry, I'm gonna come back in, apply glue in the center of each of the white frames, and then insert the stamped plaid panels. Now, I do like to use my die tool to help me make sure I have that in there nice and snug. Again, we're gonna let that dry underneath an acrylic block. For the second panel, I'll be using mounting foam. I thought it would be a good idea to share two different ways to add the frames to your card bases. And just like with the first card, I used that negative scallop six cutout as a template to adhere the pieces to my card base. Now off screen, I did do my stamping and most of my coloring from of the images from the adorable bundle of hugs stamp set. Also ran them through my scanning cup machine. I use mounting foam to adhere all of those pieces to my cards. I have one more step to share with you, the KISS stamping technique I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So place a piece of white cardstock in a misty using the tiny polka dot pattern stamp set. Lay it pattern up in the corner of the misty. You're going to take a sentiment from the bundle of hugs stamp set 
and place it face down on the micro pattern stamp, close the lid of the MISTI and lift that sentiment stamp up. At this point, I'm gonna take a pencil and draw a line around that micro pattern stamp set. So when I take it out to stamp my sentiment, I can bring it back and know exactly where to place it. So we're gonna go ahead, ink up our micro pattern with our VersaFine Claire inks. We'll close the lid of the MISTI and lightly run our finger over that sentiment kissing the sentiment to the micro pattern, picking up that ink. Now, once we have that ink on our sentiment, we're gonna open the lid of the MISTI. I use my die tool to lift the corner of my stamp up and gently remove that stamp and then stamp the sentiment onto the white cardstock. We're gonna bring that micro pattern stamp back into the MISTI, being very careful while we're doing this. It's really not that difficult to do. Um, you just have to take your time and be, be gentle when you're doing it. So we'll go ahead, re-ink the micro pattern again. You can actually see the friend stamp down there through it. And then we'll kiss that sentiment to the micro pattern one more time, gently running our finger over it to pick that ink up and then take the micro pattern out and stamp our sentiment. This is just a fun way to create a unique, I guess you could say, sentiment instead of it being just a solid stamped sentiment. So once I have stamped this three times to make sure it's nice and solid, I'm gonna give you a close up of it. Now I also stamped my other sentiment the exact same way. And there you can see those tiny little polka dots on that, it's so cute. I'm gonna take it to the paper trimmer and trim both of the sentiments down. Once I have those trimmed down to the size that I'm happy with, I'm gonna grab my corner punch. I've showed you guys this before and I love this thing. It has three different sizes of uh, corners that it punches for you. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the small corner punch on it and round those corners off. It just makes it look nice and neat on your card. We'll use mounting foam on the back of those sentiments and go ahead and place them on the card. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please join us over on Instagram and hop along for a chance to win that $25 gift certificate. For more information on the product seen in this video, as always, you can click the links directly below and head over to the Whimsy Stamps website to check it out. I appreciate you so much for spending time with me today, and until next time, please take care.